Ray Fisher just got his first scalp, everyone. If you're enjoying this content, hit that subscribe button. Join us. <laughs> Ray Fisher. I have no intention of allowing Joss Whedon to use the old Hollywood tactic of exiting, quote unquote, stepping down or walking away to cover for his terrible behavior. Warner Media's Justice League investigation has been in full swing for over three weeks now. This is undoubtedly a result of it. A is more important than E. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Comic Artist Pro Secrets, everyone. I am Ethan Van Skyver, 27-year veteran of the comic book industry, world's most charming and disarming, elegant, eloquent, and yet humble man. Great big Star Wars fan, trusted member of the media. I am having the time of my life. Uh, nobody's talking about this. You're going to get it here first. Uh, but before we do that, if you wouldn't mind leaning over there, look, look, there's a little button that says subscribe. Would you mind hitting that subscribe button and joining this channel? The algorithm has really been beating us down, but we're fighting back and beating it. Uh, I can do that with your help, and I'll bring you more of these stories from uh, an insider's uh, POV of the comic book industry. Uh, thanks very much. Now, Ray Fisher, Ray Fisher right here. Uh, of course, played Cyborg in the disastrous Justice League movie that lost millions, tens of millions of dollars. It was a nightmare. So many people lost their jobs over it, uh, and uh, it has been a catastrophe, a nightmare from which Warner Brothers and Warner Media cannot seem to wake up. Now, Ray Fisher uh, has made allegations. This is an article in Variety from uh, July of this year. Uh, he said the uh, one big uh, aspect of the problem uh, of the uh, of the Justice League movie is that Joss Whedon, who came on board. He was hired by Jeff Johns and John Berg after Zack Snyder had to leave uh, for a uh, family tragedy. Joss Whedon came in, threw out almost all of the footage uh, that Zack Snyder had shot, uh, kept about 18% of it, and then reshot everything. It cost a ton of money. It was a disastrous decision for Warner Brothers. Uh, and the other thing was, he seems to have either cut out most of the Ray Fisher as Cyborg, or we call him Cryborg now, because he has nonstop been crying uh, in social media. Uh, ever since uh, that movie came out and bombed. Um, and uh, look, he's been saying, look, I was treated terribly. I complained. I, I kind of kicked my complaints up the proper ladder, the chain of command. Uh, and I was told uh, my job was threatened. Uh, and I also heard secondhand that people were saying racist things about me behind the scenes. Uh, he, say, he said, I demand, uh, I demand an investigation. Uh, Warner Media has, uh, <laughs> has complied, even though they've crumbled. Uh, and uh, they seem to have indeed. Uh, performed an investigation on uh, this man right here, Joss Whedon, and I guess, I don't know, uh, what, what could have happened? What could have happened with that investigation? Uh, who knows, uh, except, here's Bleeding Cool from, uh, <laughs> from uh, today. Uh, look at this. Uh, the Nevers, uh, HBO, uh, Joss Whedon part ways. Now, HBO, of course, is owned by Warner Media. Uh, and, you know, AT&T, since they acquired Warner Media, is creating a streaming service called HBO Max. Uh, so, uh, HBO, of course, a big thing. This is, this is an important aspect of AT&T's new acquisition. And look at this. They just fired Joss Whedon. They just fired Joss Whedon off of his own show. This is absolutely astonishing. Uh, we're going to read this article because it's packed with kind of uh, unspoken... What would a lie be when you don't when you don't tell the truth about something and you're just kind of you offer another explanation? That is kind of a lie, right? A lie by omission. Uh, HBO is still planning to premiere Joss Whedon's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, The Avengers. Those are his credits. By the way, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. This guy created the language in which SJWs speak, and for that he should be sentenced to uh, life imprisonment. Uh, absolutely terrible. Uh, upcoming wild Victorian X-Men meets Sherlock Holmes meets Girls with Superpowers mashup. Uh, that's a direct quote from series star Dennis O'Hare, series The Nevers, okay? Summer of 2021. Uh, they're still going to do it on HBO, but what does this say here? What, what, what is this? It just won't be with Whedon. Uh, they're not... It, it, just, it just won't be with Whedon. Why is that? That's his show. What do you mean? Why, why would you fire Joss Whedon off of his own show when uh, it seems like it's going to be... Listen, everything Joss Whedon touches turns to gold, I think. I mean, look at Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the Avengers. Uh, you know, he did his own thing with Justice League. Certainly it bombed, but maybe you don't blame that on him. And if you did, uh, why are you only now punishing him for it? Could it be because of the continued pressure from Ray Fisher, uh, his people, uh, and social media? 
Uh, you know, Ray Fisher, again, has been throwing around this accusation of racism and being treated, being mistreated on the set of Justice League uh, because of the color of his skin. And he is blaming a few people, but most specifically, ba -ba 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 -ba, this guy right here, uh, Joss Whedon, of course, I made a video about him in the past. Uh, he is a fake male feminist. Uh, his wife came out and, and spoke about that. Other women who have worked with him have spoken about the way he treats women on the set. I don't really care what he does. I just think this is funny. Uh, you know, it's great. Joss Whedon is an enormous uh, male feminist social justice warrior. Uh, all of them are, <laughs> I mean, all, scratch underneath the surface of a, of a male feminist and you find a predator and a racist and all that stuff. We found that to be true. So uh, this is interesting. Uh, on Wednesday, HBO confirmed in a statement that it has parted ways with the show's creator, writer, director, executive producer, and showrunner. He does everything. This is his, this is his show, everyone. Quote, we have parted ways with Joss Whedon. We remain excited about the future of the Nevers, but not the future of Joss Whedon. Okay, you understand? Uh, and look forward to its premiere, wrote the cable giant in a statement. For his part, Whedon cited, quote, the level of commitment required to move, uh, moving forward, combined with the physical challenges of making such a huge show during the global pandemic uh, as being a major factor in his decision. Don't even think for one second uh, that this was this guy's decision. <laughs> this guy got booted out. This guy got booted out to appease Ray Fisher. Ray Fisher literally, I think, took this guy's scalp. Somebody did. Uh, and uh, what can I tell you? This is phenomenal, enormous news. This is big news that's not being covered anywhere else, uh, as far as I can see. Uh, amazing. All right, so let me see. Let's see more of these lives. This year of unprecedented challenges has impacted my life. And perspective in ways I never could have imagined. And while developing and producing the Nevers has been a joyful experience, I realized that the level of commitment required moving forward, combined with the physical challenges of making such a huge show uh, during a global pandemic, is more than I can handle. Without work beginning to suffer, I am genuinely exhausted, and I'm taking a step back to marshal my energy towards my own life. That's what politicians say when they've been caught up in a scandal. Like, I'm going home to spend a little more time with my family. Uh, this is fantastic, uh, which is also on the brink of an exciting change. Uh-oh, what's going on there? Uh, Whedon wrote in his own statement, I'm deeply proud of the work that we have done. I'm grateful to all my extraordinary cast and collaborators uh, and to HBO. Uh, thank you, HBO, for investigating me because uh, some third stringer, some C-list uh, <laughs> actor who hasn't worked since complained about me and called me a bigot forced you guys to investigate me and then offered me up as a sacrificial lamb thank you so much for letting me craft my own departure statement i really so much appreciate that uh i am going to go into hiding now uh and uh warner media i expect that you are probably going to hope that this goes away uh, it's probably not going to go away ray fisher still has other scalps to cap uh, capture here and that's what you get that is what you get for hiring social justice warriors you hired Joss Whedon, who is a social justice warrior. He comes with all kinds of his own secret weird problems. And Ray Fisher apparently is an activist social justice warrior uh, who is going to probably, unless I start to see some proof real quick, Mr. Fisher, uh, launch phony allegations of racism against people uh, in, order to, in order to blackmail, emotionally blackmail himself back into a job. Uh, what can I tell you? Show me proof. We have we've, we've been waiting since July. Show me proof of racism, uh, you know, at the hands of this man. I'll believe it if it's coming from Joss Whedon or Jeff Johns or John Berger, any of these guys that you're accusing, uh, and I will change my tune. Lickety split. Just show me some proof. But you haven't. Uh, what I do know is that Warner Brothers has reacted in a big, gigantic way here. Joss Whedon parts ways with HBO. <laughs> so very good. Thanks for watching, everybody. Congratulations, Ray Fisher. Uh, Mr. Fisher, you took down a very big fish here in Joss Whedon. And thank you guys for watching this. Please like, subscribe, share, leave me comments below. Let me know what you think of all of this. Uh, and uh, what else? Oh, yeah, thank you so much for subscribing again. We just got bumped up another 1,000 subs because of you. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you, you like the content of this video, you like where I'm going, please do do me the favor of joining this channel by just hitting subscribe, ringing the bell for notifications. Uh, we are beating that algorithm. They're trying to beat down our channel, but they can't. We're too popular over here. Uh, thank you very much, and we'll see you again soon. Here's a Cyber Frog ad. Hey Indiegogo backers, it's Cyberfrog, warts and all. The complete collection of every Cyberfrog comic from the 1990s in one hardcover omnibus collection. 
More than 328 pages of frog fun gathered together for the first time ever for one low price, with plenty of amazing stretch goal bonuses to keep fans jumping. Back it today, only on Indiegogo. Hey, I got a P.O. Box. Want to send me some mail? Send it to Ethan Van Skyver, P.O. Box 607, Marlton, New Jersey, 08053. And I'll probably open it up on the live stream. Thanks very much, everyone. Hey, you want to follow me on Twitter? Are you sure? Well, if so, I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. That's at Ethan Van Skyver. See you there.